This video will first try to solve a simple vapor compression cycle by using identical method and same numerical will try to solve by using Coolpack software. So let's get started. Refrigeration machine using R134A as a refrigerant operates between temperatures minus 10 degrees centigrade and 40 degrees centigrade. The compression is isentropic and there is no undercooling or superheating. The vapor is dry saturated at the beginning of the compression. Estimate the COP. This is the question and the property table is given along with the CP value. You can see the property table is given for minus 10 degrees centigrade and 40 degrees centigrade temperature. Let's try to solve this numerical first analytically and then we'll try to solve this numerical by using pullback software. So our given thing is R134A as a refrigerant and temperature values are minus 10 degree centigrade and 40 degree centigrade. So this is the property table and R134A as a refrigerant. So if I draw the TS diagram for this cycle, this will be the simple vapor compression cycle like this. And this is the pH diagram. So our aim is to find out the COP. So in order to find out the COP, we should find out the enthalpy at point number one. 4, 2 and 1. So uh, by using the table we can find out the enthalpy at point number 1 and 4. So these are the values. And entropy, by using the entropy we can find out the higher temperature that is T2 and by using that temperature T2 we can find out enthalpy at point number 2. So this is enthalpy at point number 2. So COP we can find out by putting these values in this equation. So uh, in this case, COP by using analytical method is 4.03. Now let's try to solve the same numerical by using the Coolpack software. Now, if you want to download the Coolpack software, just go to the Google and uh, uh, type Coolpack software. You may get such kind of results. You can go to this first results that is from IPU. So you can click on that. So you will get uh, such kind of uh, window. So here uh, there is some basic information of Coolpack software is there and uh, what uh, capabilities are there for the, of this Coolpack software that is also listed here. And here you can see this license summary and you can download this Coolpack software by uh, clicking at this point. So this is freeware software, you can download this and you can install at your system. So I have already done that. Uh, so let's open that Coolpack software. So first you open this, uh, first time if you open this Coolpack software, it will look like this. Then go to the refrigeration utilities and click on this icon, refrigeration utilities. So here uh, you can see different things are there. So just click on this pH diagram, okay, this pH diagram. Then you have to uh, select the refrigerant. So whatever in the question, whatever the refrigerant is there, that you have to select in our question. R134A that is the refrigerant so I will select that so related to that whatever the pH diagram is there uh, that will be shown on this software now we have to put the values so here you have to click on this cycle icon so here you can see this cycle icon so click on that and then uh, you have to choose like whether it is a one stage two stage and uh, whether it is the intercooler or not all that things uh, I am considering a simple problem so let's put the evaporating and condensing temperature. So in our case, our numerical uh, evaporating temperature is minus 10 degree centigrade and condensing temperature is 40 degree centigrade. So if there is any undercooling, subcooling or isentropic efficiency or if there is pressure drop in condenser, suction time, that all things you can mention here uh, with proper units. And then you can click on draw cycle. So this is the uh, vapor compression cycle on pH diagram. So this will be automatically drawn. You don't have to bother about the values. Now we want uh, the COP, how much heat is absorbed, how much heat is rejected. So all that values you will get by clicking on this show info icon. So if you cl click on this show info icon, you will get these values like how much heat is uh, absorbed in the evaporator that is indicated by q suffix t in terms of kilojoule per kg how much heat is rejected from the condenser that is indicated by q suffix e that is 168.734 in this case 
COP value, you can see here, COP value by using this full pack software is also matching with our analytical calculation. So in our analytical calculation, we have got the COP value as 4.03 and by using this full pack software also, we are getting the same value. That is 4.03. Then how much work input is given per kilojoule in terms of kilojoule per kg that is given that is 33.573. Uh, and pressure ratio is 5.063. Now, if you have mass uh, mass rate, then uh, that is refrigerant flow rate, then you can put that value here. Like let's consider refrigerant flow rate is 0.08 kg per second. Then you can put that value here in terms of uh, kg per second. And you just click on this update button. So you will get actually how much amount of heat is absorbed in the evaporator in terms of kilowatt and how much heat is rejected from the condenser in terms of kilowatt how much work input is given in terms of kilowatt and all the other things then if you want to find out the coordinates of the points you can click on this icon so you will get all the values at respective points okay so that's all from this video so in this video we have seen how to uh, use the cool pack software for a simple vapor refrigeration problem Thank you. Yeah, please subscribe to the channel. Please uh, like, share and comment.